6C. This is REZ 2018-07, the Branham Project. It's located at 2480 Copeland Road. The request is from R1 to R10. It does have water and sewer. It involves 18.04 acres. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Um, and yes, you have seen this case before. Um, the footnote at the bottom of your front page gives you a background about what happened in the previous two cases. Um, but ultimately, I was glad to see some of you at the Planning Commission meeting because you well know there was a significant amount of um, opposition and discussion that took place on this case. Ultimately, um, staff was at approval with four conditions. Planning Commission, very similar, followed suit. Um, the conditions are very similar to what was presented to the Planning Commission. I do believe we tightened up uh, a little bit between the Planning Commission and now, but the intent is still there. Uh, I've reached out to the developer to confirm them, but ultimately what you have is two conditions for engineering about lots running into your roads and then the paving of Lester because it's unimproved, and then one uh, for a new sidewalk along uh, Copeland and then an adjacent lot width condition that's trying to blend those lots into the area a little bit better. The only update that I have on this case beyond a pretty lengthy packet, but that's only because we've seen this twice before, is that we did get four additional signatures in opposition that I handed out to you this morning. Also handed out a map. Um, Valor mapped those on, um, on a map so you can see where they're located. One of the differences in these signatures is, is with Mr. Blanton and Mr. Dyke signing the property, they both own houses in the area, but they're also large landowners. So you're going to see a lot of land on the property only because they have a house each, but they just have multiple pieces of property in the area. Um, so with that, I do have some information on the screen in case we need to go to it today or tomorrow. We, of course, have an aerial of the property showing Mr. Branham's residence, um, a zoning map, a kind of a zoomed out zoning map because sometimes they start talking about R10 zoning in the area or different neighborhoods. So this is more of a, an entire area zoning map. You have the future land use map. Uh, this is his proposed conceptual plan. It's not binding. The commission can choose to make it binding, but it gives you an idea about what they're thinking. Um, to me, the significance is they do propose a buffer on the eastern and on the western and southern borders. And then you can see a preliminary lot layout. This is the site plan that we had last year. So last year the request was for half acre lots. This year it's for 10,000 square foot lots. So this gives you an alternative to what he was showing when he asked for that half acre density. Uh, this is the current map you have from the opposition signatures. And then finally we have the proposed conditions. So we can reference any one of those if we need to, but I wanted to put those on your radar uh, just in case. Thank you, Mr. Davenport. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Can we add a condition at this table now? Yes, or sir. Yes, sir. I mean, at, at your at your decision point tomorrow, you can add conditions, take away conditions, um, go to different zonings as long as they were less intense. So that is all. Those options are all on the table. Okay. What I would like to add, if I may, now. You can't do it now, sir. Okay. You can do it tomorrow evening. That's what I asked yes. you yeah. first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tomorrow evening, you could do it. Any other questions? All right, let's move on then to.